Hi there! Now some of you have been wondering how to do these. Well, it's actually very simple and in this video I'm going to show you how to make cheap and easy gun shots. Here's what you'll need. So first of all we need to record two things. The first one is the footage of the actor shooting the gun and the second is a clean plate. We want to import our footage into After Effects. I've already imported mine in and I have my clean plate here and then the footage of the actor shooting the gun. Now it's quite easy to make a gun shot and the first thing we need is a muzzle flash. I want to add that in. Right. We need to find the exact frame where it should be placed. And let's see, that's put in the wrong direction. So we need to press R for rotation. It's about that much. And that, it's okay. But it could be better. So I want to duplicate that there. Set the blend mode of the top um, layer to add and then type into the effects and presets glow and put that on the bottom layer. And we want to mess about with the, these numbers, trying to find what looks best. I think that looks best so. And we only want to make them um, one frame long, so we cut those there. So it's just a gun shot, just one muzzle flash, one frame long. And then we want to add some bullet smoke, smoke puff, underneath the muzzle flash layer. And um, this is on the black background, so I want to change the blend mode, blend mode to screen, and rotate it around 180 degrees. And I also want to make it much faster, so about 39% and scale it down a bit. That's a bit too small to so make it a bit bigger. There. Now that's in the wrong place. So just move that right in front of the barrel. Perfect. Now there's two more things we need to do. One is the barrel going back and the next one is the light coming off the muzzle flash. So we want to duplicate our shooting layer for about, and then cut it so it's about four frames long starting from here and then we want to right click it, go to time and choose freeze frame so that's just a still frame and then we want to choose, take the masking tool and just hide these hide these model flares so we want to mask round just do a rough mask around the slide of the gun So we can animate it back to make it look like it's a real gun. So we just want to go and transfer on the transform and on the very first frame keyframe position and rotation and then go two frames across, rotate it around and put it back there. Well, that's to rotate it around a bit more. But there, just to fix this frame. Actually, there's a problem with the mask here. Just need to move this bit down there. There. And go to the. Actually, make it just one frame longer. And then, position and rotation. Keep it back to actually on the gun so right back at the start and as you can 
can see we just want to fix these layers in between. So it is like this. Now there is a problem with that. The front of the gun is still showing here. And I actually want to take away the last frame. There. Okay. I'm um, actually one more thing. I want to change. I want to add some feathering to the mask, but only a maybe like ten pixels. Yep, maybe a bit less actually. Five. Yeah. So now we need to fix that problem. So we need to take this layer. I just want to duplicate it. Now cut it, so we have in three parts, I'm going to the middle part, which should be the same length as the slide one back, and just hide these front two layers, then take the mask from the slide layer and paste it onto here, and obviously we don't want that, so I want to change it to subtract. So it takes away that. And then I want to bring the mask expansion up a bit. And obviously I want to animate this mask. Uh, for each frame so it stays on top of the gun on, on top of the slide. Whoops, I forgot to do keyframe. We just set that keyframe at the start. Bring it down. Select them all, bring it down to about there. Next frame. Double click it just so we can do rotation. About there. Maybe a bit bigger. Next frame. Oops. Let's go into composition. Double click. Rotation. There. Maybe a bit bigger there. Back to this frame. Rotation's okay, just put it there. And that is it. So the frame so the slide is completely gone from that layer. I just want to bring in these layers. Yeah, that's that is a problem. Now we want to go into M for mask. Bring the mask expansion down on this layer. Just bring the mask feather up a bit more. The mask expansion should be about two. No, that's not good. So go on to our slide layer and just fill in those gaps. And that should sort everything out. Just play that. Um, just a few rough patches are broken there but once we have the muscle patch it should be okay. No it's not really. So what I want to do is find take the this layer that we have masked out the slide. Just bring the map just go each frame. make it a bit larger and move it up a bit. Actually a lot larger. This is just a rough mask. And put it there. Make sure you don't leave any gaps or it'll look weird. And I actually just want to 
move some of these bits of mass down to cover up that bit. And there it is. That's that done. Oops. And I actually just want to move the feather in up a bit more and bring the mask expansion. Mm. It's hard to find, get it perfect. through every frame again and ah, yeah I'll just move it up which frame there and oh, just so we can bring the mask by the up a lot more without leaving any gaps great and there's the last thing is the light and shadows coming from the flare so we want to just duplicate our clean plate but we aren't actually going to use this this is just so we can change we can change the clean plate to add actually we are going to use this this is also going to act from the light because drop is going to be light going onto that part, and we want to get this, change it to add, and just actually bring that footage all the way to the end. Okay, so we want to take our mask tool and mask around where the shadows would be so there here it move a bit underneath the computer just a tiny bit and the bit in my chest and that should do maybe a bit on here too so we want to go into our masks Select all those and change them to subtract. So that, that looks really bad. So you want to select all these masks and feather them. To put there, and this mask is actually too small, so I think I need to bring the feathering up in this one a bit more. way too bright so I'm gonna work on that. And we actually this can be a problem but um we just want to take away everything that's unnecessary actual this for this part so as you can see since you duplicated this layer that can be a problem so I'll just oops. um yeah it's okay so for this layer, we want to go to T, which is the opacity, about 30 or so, 39. So it'll be like just a very faint light. Then go to the very last frame, put it to zero, so it keep gradually fades out, like this. Now that's without any muzzle flashes or anything, so we'll just turn on all of them. problem there because I've duplicated this footage I want to take this 
I'll go into masks and copy mask one and put it on the and as you can tell our footage from the from behind isn't working very well. So we want to it's not blending very well in the fifth one footage. I want to go to brightness. Oops. Brightness. Put it on that layer. Just mess about with it until it matches with the background. Maybe a, a bit of contrast. And some uh, the saturation filter as well. And bring the saturation down a bit. There. I think that should be okay. But remember on this mask here. This mask is there the whole time, so we just want to keyframe the mask out just before. And then again, we want to make the opacity keyframe out. So here we can copy that and then keyframe opacity there and paste that out there. And that is the muzzle, that is the gunshot finished. Now there's just one last thing before we render it. We just need to see these sound, these speakers. We only want to have one of those ticked, which is our main footage. So I take off all of them, so that is the only sound there. Okay, one last tip to remember is you need to turn motion blur on and find your slide layer that will be moving back and then turn motion blur on for that layer so it looks much more realistic and that is the end of the tutorial so if you make any gumshot effects with this using this tutorial please post them as a video response and if you like this video like it or add it to your favorites and if you like the content on my channel please subscribe so thanks for watching bye